Thought he was going to be our derby horse. Uh, we hit a little snag down in New Orleans, got a little sick. Horses come back great. Brett and his whole team, Tom, Peaches, everybody. Gabe, beautiful ride. Really nice race. Some nice former horses. They beat us Breeders' Cup here back in November. And uh, we couldn't be happier. I mean, it takes a lot of luck. But we got a nice horse. We're, we're uh -huh. very blessed. You had to feel good when uh, Hog Creek Hustle went up to New York and won the great yeah. Well, one. Yeah, yeah, you had that race, and then there's another horse or two that's come out of there and won. So that was a nice race, Derby Day, the Pat Day Mile. So this is a nice race here today. It come up pretty tough. Do you think you have some tough decisions between By My Standards and Mr. Money where you're going to go forward no, with these? Are you just going to separate them? I'm going to leave it up to Mr. Calhoun. He's the one that's got the, he's the, one that's got the tough decisions. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the, both of the horses are doing good, and there's a lot of good races this summer and fall, so we're in a good spot. I don't know how you get in a spot like this, but it's nice to be here. What good about ride. this run you Yeah, ride? great ride. I mean, I mean, Gabe, my wife, our, our friends. I mean, this is just a fun – this is what it's about, really. For sure. What about this run you've been on this year? You never won a graded stakes to the Louisiana Derby with By My Standards, and now you've won three, you won a million dollars. You got these two very nice three year olds. Just talk about the. You know, it's kind of hard to put in perspective. Um, you just take it day by day. You know, Jenny, this is a humbling game, and right now everything's going our way. Uh, we can wake up in the morning and it won't be, but right now we're just going to enjoy it and hope it keeps going. I was very pleasantly pleasant that uh, very happy that he relaxed like he did uh, going 24 for him to just sit off that horse. I know he was tugging on, gave a little bit early, but then he dropped his head and relaxed, and then that gave me a, 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 a good deal of calm. We talked about before this as going to the Indiana Derby. Our goal is to uh, keep this horse as fresh uh, for as long as we can. There's a lot of money. These three-year-olds over the course of the summer. Uh, we let him recover, set right here, didn't ship. We got Indiana Downs, the Indiana Derby, uh, about a month away, just two hours down the road. We think that makes a lot of sense for 500000 So that's kind of what we're looking at. I think you're going to keep by my standards and just the money apart? Yeah, we're definitely going to keep them. Yeah, we'll definitely keep them apart. He ran so big in the one turn pack day mile. Did you have any question at all about the two turns, or was this kind of the litmus test here? This was kind of a litmus test. Obviously, he had won here, broke his maiden going two turns here, but that was in a different caliber of horses. Uh, he needed to prove that to me tonight. I felt like in a Pat Day mile, the fractions that they set, the way he handled it and drew off, I felt like it wouldn't be an issue. But it is a different race. I think sometimes mentally it's a different race for him going around two turns than one. But, uh, you know, he did what we expected tonight. Can you talk about his development to get to this point and where he goes from here? Yeah, you know, we, we, were, we had a great plan, I thought, for the winter, getting to the Kentucky Derby. He got sick before the first prep. Uh, down in New Orleans, we got off track. It took us a couple races to get back on. We were behind. Uh, you know, we got the race Pat Day Mile that we expected. You know, maybe if he gets some points earlier, uh, he, he probably showed up big in the Kentucky Derby that day. Um, so we're just happy to have him back in 100%. He's he's continued to improve and moving forward. Have you scratched his potential? You think? Yeah, I mean, I think you're seeing uh, what he is. I mean, obviously, he's put two really good back-to-back -back races together and. Uh, you know, he's won pretty convincingly, so he seems to be uh, moved up a couple of notches in the 3-0 division.